The EV revolution is here, but Toyota is hitting the brakes. You'd think every automaker would be racing to electrify its lineup, right? Not so fast. Toyota's CEO is throwing cold water on the EV craze, and his reasons might surprise you. He points out that EVs are still a small fraction, just 0.86% of all registered vehicles in the US. Toyota thinks pushing for a rapid shift to EVs is impractical. We're peeling back the layers in this controversial stance and exploring why this automotive giant is taking a stand. Number 5. Charging Issues The number of charging stations has undoubtedly increased in developed nations like the US and Europe, but it's still insufficient to meet the growing demand. In the European Union, even the most conservative estimates suggest that at least 3.4 million operational public charging stations will be needed by 2030. Right now, they need to reach that target. This means that even in regions with higher EV adoption rates, drivers are still worried where and when they can recharge their vehicles. The situation is even more challenging in developing countries. Charging stations are scarce, which creates a significant barrier for potential EV owners. If you live in a place where you can't easily find a charging station, the convenience of owning an EV diminishes quickly. This lack of infrastructure makes people hesitant to switch from traditional gas-powered vehicles to electric ones. It's not just about buying a car, it's about the peace of mind that you can use it without worrying about where to charge it. Even within developed countries, the distribution of charging stations is uneven. Urban areas tend to have more charging points thanks to higher population density and greater investment in infrastructure. However, rural areas often lag. It challenges long-distance travel, as drivers might be bound if they venture too far from urban centers. Imagine planning a road trip and constantly mapping out charging stops, a hassle many drivers aren't willing to deal with. Number 4. High Electricity Demand Akio Toyota, Toyota CEO, isn't exactly rolling out the red carpet for electric vehicles, EVs. One major reason behind his skepticism is the soaring demand for electricity that comes with the mass adoption of EVs. The numbers are staggering and clearly show why he's concerned. Let's break it down. If the US wants to keep up with the growing number of EVs on the road, it will need a serious upgrade to its power grid. Studies suggest that by 2050, the country's power capacity will have to double to handle the increased electricity demands. Think about that for a moment. Doubling the entire US power grid. It is no small feat. To meet the anticipated needs, the US must produce 525 to 860 terawatt hours of electricity by 2030. That's a colossal increase, translating into massive investments in generating, transmitting, and distributing electricity. Toyota's concerns are rooted in the practical challenge of this kind of expansion. Producing more electricity isn't as simple as flipping a switch. It involves building new power plants, upgrading existing ones, and overhauling the grid to handle the extra load. It is an expensive and time-consuming process, which raises questions about the feasibility and cost-effectiveness of transitioning to a fully electric vehicle fleet. Moreover, the strain on the power grid isn't just an American issue, it's a global concern. As more countries push for EV adoption, the world's power infrastructure will face similar stresses. Developing countries, in particular, are in a tough spot. They're already struggling with basic electricity needs, and adding the additional burden of EV charging could be overwhelming. Even in developed Developed nations where the grid is more robust, there's still a need for significant upgrades to meet future demands. Looking at places like Europe and Asia, where EV adoption is higher, we see that even their advanced grids are starting to struggle. Yes, some regions have made strides with their infrastructure, but the rising demand for EVs is pushing these grids to their limits. It's a clear sign that even sophisticated systems aren't immune to the challenges posed by widespread electric vehicle use. Number 3. Carbon Emission Toyota has a slightly different take on the electric vehicle EV craze. While the push for EVs is often championed as the key to cutting tailpipe emissions, Toyota quickly points out that this isn't the whole story. The company argues that the real issue isn't the combustion engine, but the carbon emissions tied to the entire life cycle of a vehicle, including the energy that powers it. Here's the scoop. The electricity that charges EVs often comes from fossil fuels, especially in areas where renewable energy infrastructure isn't fully developed yet. So, the clean image of EVs can be a bit misleading if the power they run on isn't green. Toyota believes a more rounded approach is needed to tackle carbon emissions effectively. It's not just about swapping out gas engines for electric ones. Toyota thinks we need to consider the whole picture. Everything from how batteries are made and disposed of, how efficiently the energy grid works, and what kind of energy sources are available worldwide. For instance, battery production can be resource intensive, and the recycling process for these batteries isn't always environmentally friendly. Toyota's stance is that hybrid and hydrogen fuel cell technology 
technologies and investments in renewable energy infrastructure offer a more flexible and comprehensive path to carbon neutrality. While EVs are part of the solution, they're not a one-size-fits-all answer. Hybrid vehicles, which combine a traditional combustion engine with electric power, and hydrogen fuel cells, which produce hydrogen from hydrogen, can significantly reduce emissions. The company advocates for a diverse approach, arguing that relying solely on electric power might not be the most effective strategy out there. For instance, hybrid and hydrogen technologies might offer quicker, more practical benefits in regions where renewable energy is still developing. Number two, EVs are not the solution. Toyota's stance on electric vehicles, EVs, is a bit more measured than you might expect. While the world seems to be rushing towards an all-electric future, Toyota believes EVs are just one piece of the puzzle, not the whole picture. Jim Adler, who heads up Toyota Ventures, put it bluntly, in the distant future, I'm not investing assuming that battery electrics are 100% of the market. I just don't see it. He's convinced that the future of transportation will be a mixed bag with various solutions coexisting rather than a single dominant technology. Why does Toyota feel this way? It's all about recognizing that different regions will adopt EVs at different speeds. Factors like local energy availability, infrastructure, and the materials needed for EV batteries will influence how quickly various parts of the world transition to electric vehicles. Some places, especially those with robust energy and infrastructure, are leading the charge. However, other areas struggling with energy shortages or high costs might lag. Toyota's commitment to a broader approach is evident in its investments beyond EVs. For example, they've heavily backed hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the new Toyota Miari. These vehicles work by generating electricity from hydrogen and oxygen with only water vapor as a byproduct. They can be refueled quickly, similar to traditional gas-powered cars. It makes them an attractive alternative for fast refueling in longer ranges. Hollis, another Toyota executive, emphasizes that hybrid, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell vehicles are all crucial for reducing emissions. BEV, fuel cell, plug-in hybrids, all those reduction tools are going to happen, and they're all important, he said. Yet, fuel cell vehicles still face their own challenges, like high costs, limited infrastructure, and the need for greater consumer awareness. Toyota is also exploring e-fuels, which are designed to be climate-neutral replacements for gasoline in non-electric vehicles. This approach aligns with Toyota's view that multiple solutions will be needed to achieve carbon neutrality rather than relying solely on battery electric vehicles. Number 1. Cautious about the rush to electric vehicles Toyota is also carefully navigating the uneven landscape of global EV adoption, where progress varies dramatically from region to region. While the push for electric vehicles, EVs, is gaining momentum worldwide, the road to widespread adoption is anything but smooth. The EV revolution is underway in Europe and China. These regions benefit from strong government policies that support electric mobility. With its stringent emissions regulations, Europe has created a favorable environment for EVs, offering incentives that encourage consumers to make the switch. Similarly, China's vast market and substantial government backing are driving its rapid expansion in the EV sector. With a growing network of charging stations and a range of affordable EV models hitting the market, these areas are leading the charge toward a more electric future. In contrast, despite its automotive prowess, the United States is playing catch-up. More relaxed regulations, a patchy charging infrastructure, and a consumer preference for more extensive, less fuel-efficient vehicles hinder the shift to EVs. This combination makes it challenging for American consumers to embrace EVs fully. The limited number of compelling electric options and the fragmented network of charging stations only add to the obstacles. Developing countries, especially in Africa, face an even steeper climb. The need for charging infrastructure, inconsistent electricity access, and the high cost of EVs pose significant hurdles. For many in these regions, owning and operating an EV remains a distant dream. With substantial investments in infrastructure and support, the widespread adoption of EVs in these areas is still possible. Toyota's approach reflects this global divide. They are acutely aware of these regional disparities as they prepare for an all-electric lineup by 2026. The company's strategy involves advancing electric technology and addressing the varied needs of different markets. Now, what do you guys think? Is Toyota right in its stance? Share your thoughts on this in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.